Greetings, YouTube. It is I, Stefan and Scott. It's been, uh, you know, years, years, years is about right since I've been on here. So I don't really expect that any of you are still watching. But if you are, hello. How have you been? And if someone new is watching, welcome. I'm Stefan Scott. Um, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of a game I quite loved in the 90s, uh, Spycraft, the great game. This guy came out in 96, I believe, from Activision. And uh, it's a little bit slow. So growing up, uh, I couldn't really get any of my friends to play it with me. And so they always gave it a hard time because the title, as you can see fully, is Spycraft, the great game. And uh, they sort of thought if you had to tell people it was a great game, it wasn't. But it's a quote from someone, so it has nothing to do with that. Anyway, uh, this game sounds awful. Uh, it didn't sound this bad in the 90s, but the Windows version doesn't emulate well, and the DOS version can emulate okay, but not on this computer, because... Uh, Anyway, the emulator I'm using doesn't support uh, some of the stuff, so it sounds like total shit, and I apologize for that, but enjoy. We're going to see a little opening thing. You want to know what I believe? I'll tell you what I believe. I was there when JFK got his first look at those U-2 photos. The CIA has the eyes and ears of this country. And what we see isn't always pretty. Things never change. Murders are still running countries. Armies are still massing at borders. People are still dying. Some things the president shouldn't know. For a politician, ignorance can be the key to survival. So the facts might be flexible. Maybe it's not all black and white. The job never changes. We're on the front lines, deep inside an Asian jungle, a 30,000 miles above Russia's nuclear arsenal. In the end, it's all about human assets. There'll always be an order, James. The best you can do is to treat your people right and watch every move they make. Kipling called it the great game. Everything you know could be a lie. All right, so that was our little intro. That was uh, spoken by a character we're about to meet in a video message, played by the actor James Karen. Uh, so this is one of those 1990s full motion video games. And actually the video looks better than it does in most of them. It does have the ridiculous scanline effect, but it's still fairly clear. Uh, but yeah, this, fil this was filmed with a series of video messages. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. So we're Your case personal digital assistant provides access to four critical services. Okay. Data link, your connection to other government <sighs> agencies. News link, access to the latest news. Web link, your gateway to the online world and Comlink, a mailbox and archive for secure communications. For details, use the help button. Okay. You have a message oh waiting. My God. Click the Comlink button to receive messages. Okay, so now that our PDA has shut the fuck up, uh, this is our PDA. I don't even know what I was saying before then because you just talked for like two minutes. Um, this is the 90s, oh right, so this is a 90s full motion video game, if you're familiar with those, there will be a lot of scenes of people 
talking and doing things that are actually shot like a film interspersed with clicky puzzles so it's basically a point and click adventure game with video uh, so this is our PDA this is we'll spend a lot of the game in this uh, there's four basic parts to it as she said web link we will never get to use this uh, it never worked in the DOS version and in the Windows version they shut down all the servers for it over a decade ago so it was just like real links to government websites and things it, it wasn't that great even when it was real data link controlled access we will be using later um, for right now it's useless but it lets us get into each welcome to the central intelligence agency intelligence service branch read about them a little bit and then power play compartment see additional accessed. files that are only for us uh, but right now there's really nothing there we need to see news link this will be our various news going on Chief of Staff orders intelligence report on Russian Mafia. I'm sure that won't be relevant. Syrian terrorist ring broken. Terrorist ring broken. Wow, Jesus. Reading. Downloading National Intelligence Daily. All right, National Intelligence Daily in Washington. Speaking to the nation in his weekend radio address, President Brooks, be Brooks began spending the political cash he'll certainly amass. So, okay, so the president is going to Moscow to sign a treaty with President Polyakov. Uh, space shuttle, FBI, Russian organized crime. All right, at least two of those things will be relevant. I'll leave it to you to decide which two. And the comlink, the thing we'll be using the most on the Interlink PDA system. This is basically a high-tech email. We'll get video mails and regular emails and sound emails. Because this is the way of the future with video mail. Uh, so Deputy Director of Operations Eugene Warhurst has a video message for us. That's who spoke the intro. So let's hear what he has to say. Go on, it's Warhurst. We've got a situation. We're building the team. Meet me at Langley in the lobby. Yeah, I don't get why they use videos for these things. That would have made more sense as an email, but sure. I like the videos. I just, yes. And we go. Also note that when you walk into the CIAA, you carry your gun, and then a rent-a-cop takes it from you. <laughs> Thank you, Thorn. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna mostly shut the fuck up for the next couple minutes, because there's more video here. Give us a little bit of an introduction to what uh, our mission is in this game. Spycraft the Great Game. So here we go. Started. You all know Bruce Jeffries. We brought him back for this mission. People, this is serious. Gene and I have chosen Jeffries to run this op. He's drafted David Holt from the DI and Jamie Seaton from ST as in-house support. He's also going to need a dependable operative in the field, which is why you're all here. Lang, Asai, Parker. And Thorn. Hey, Gene that's us. promises me you're the best of the new crop. Now you've got to keep that promise. I'll make sure one of them does. 
I want you all at the farm at 0600. Bruce has designed your regiment. Top performer gets the mission and reports back here for the full briefing. Good luck. All right, so now we're going to the farm. If you know anything about the CIA, is actually where the CIA trains. It's a place called the farm. So we're heading there. Do our training. Um, as you can guess, we're wanting to be involved in this investigation, so we want to do well here, apparently. As uh, DCI Sterling's told told us, that guy uh, in that last cutscene, that's basically the head of the CIA, played by Dennis Lipscomb, who I really don't remember from many movies other than he was in the movie War Games. Um, he was some higher up who was stupid as I recall okay so we're waiting to meet with Dr. Frank Milkowski here's a book he wrote about guns the central intelligence guide to custom firearm modification he wants you to poke some holes in your gun barrel and it will give you less recoil that's that's true that's good we can spy on his answering machine here you have two Messages. All right. Hear them. Press one. Really? Uh, yes, hello. Uh, this is Morrison. We've had a minor snafu down here. I'm calling in a 147. One of my men just found an access gate unlocked. Let's see. Sewage drain number seven. Uh, no big deal, sir. I bet one of the maintenance boys just forgot to lock up, but I'll keep you posted. Frank, it's Dr. Cohen over at InfoStar. Listen. I just wanted to thank you for resolving those LOS issues on the IR sighting. Mr. Hanlon will be pleased that we're going to meet our milestones. Alright, so that's something I actually just discovered when I was doing a practice run for this video. That first message, I'm sure about the unlocked sewage grade, I'm sure that's nothing. Um, and then the other thing is a character we'll actually meet later, though it has nothing to do with current. So, okay, he's a great shot, and then to summon him into, well, we can also look at his guns, he has plenty, and then to summon him into the room, we can look at a picture of him with former CIA director, William Colby. Bill was the last guy from Ops to make it to the top. Dying breed. Sorry I'm late. Been one of those days. My name is Frank Milkowski, director of training. I love your started. sweater vest. Now it's your turn. Bruce wants me to start you with image analysis. I've got to attend to something, but if you follow the signs down the hall, I'll meet you there. He's got a thing. He's got to go do a thing uh, in his sweater vest. So watch out for that. Uh, that actor's uh, Charles Napier, I believe his name is. He's been in a ton of stuff, just playing a general Russian sort of hard-ass guy. Russian presidential candidate Fyodor Dubansky was killed today at the hands of an assassin. Dubansky was well ahead in the polls as of last week. The Russian media has raised the specter of mafia involvement. Dubansky's closest rival, current President Alexander Polyakov, will soon be meeting with President Charles Brooks to sign the long-awaited end treaty, which will essentially dismantle Soviet nuclear capability. I'm sure none of that has anything to do with our mission. Also, that news reporter, his name I think in the game is Bernard, and he will be the only news reporter in the game. Hi, Frank! This is the latest in image analysis equipment. Fantastic. If a picture's worth a thousand words, these puppies will give you war and peace. Get somebody's license plate, cross-check their face. Hell, you can even see if they're an innie or an outie. I doubt that. What we have here is a series of puzzles. You've got a couple of surveillance images, and I've got a couple of questions. Use the image analysis tools and your noggin, and we'll see how you stack up against the others. Okay, couple notes here as we get into this. First of all, this is incredibly easy. If this is what CIA image analysis specialists do, I want that job. Second of all, notice that these are not things that could be graded on a scale, really. They're either yes or no's, 
And just bear that in mind for what he'll say after we complete them. All right, what is the license plate number of the brown sedan? You'll need to do Entering National Photographic Interpretation Center. Okay, this area will choose a ranch house where some Mexican drug smugglers are having a little summit. Use the zoom and the OCE to enhance the text on that brown sedan's license plate. It should be one of our DEA boys who sold out to the bad guys. Okay, now check out the difficulty here. Click a couple times. Then I go to OCE, which stands for Optical Character Enhancement. Wow, that was easy. And I don't even need to really be able to read this. I can see it's like 2G6 or 26 G something. Whatever. Click Opening report. email gateway. I have to send him an email, even though he's standing maybe 10 feet away from me. License plate on the car? Well, it looked nothing like these two, so we'll go with this one. Message sent. Holy cow. <laughs> you smoked that Holy one. cow. Damn. Damn. Side did near perfect, but you did even better. How Bruce could you do near perfect? Proud. Or better? I just clicked four times and read a license plate. How many tanks in the area have their engines running? You will need the zoom and overlay function. Now, as Two I kinds recall... Of images here. Oh, the first one's a sat shot of a Syrian military base in the Becca Valley. Seconds and infrared from the same place. Use the overlay to see how many tanks have their engines running. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, as I recall, even though this is su supposed to be a training uh, uh, area, basically, and we will use the image analysis program again, I believe this is the only time Select in the game images to overlay. that we use this overlay tool. Anyway, we put together a real photo with an infrared photo. Image one and two blended. Perfect. Now we're trying to see how many tanks there are. We don't even have to try here. There's six. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Nice job. <laughs> Maybe you'll make the wall of fame. A this is a new gadget do from S and T. Very sexy. If someone smashes the unit or steals the film. There's a chip in here that stores low res backups. Downright sneaky, huh? Holy shit. We've got a, a digital camera? Works, but I'm not sure they worked out the bug. <coughs> All right. Time to get serious. Dead serious. I want you to head out to the zone. Bruce and I will meet you there. All right. Well, before we go to the zone to meet up with him and Bruce, we're going to call this a video. So we are going to save this here. Uh, maybe I can't title this? Oh, there we go. Alright, thank you all so much. This is Stefan Ian Scott. You have a great rest of your day. Cheers.